Hey everyone, so in this video we are going to learn about how we can find uh, hidden sensitive information from an Android application that will be useful when you are doing bug bounty hunting or even you are doing a penetration testing for a particular organization. But before going to this video, as always, if you haven't checked out my previous video, which was the sequel of uh, finding parameters, then go ahead, check it out. You will learn how you can find uh, hidden parameters on web application by using a tool known as X8. So yeah, go ahead and check it out. Also, for those who are new to our ch uh, channel, then go ahead and check out our website, which is bepractical.tech. Over there, we have awesome labs related to cybersecurity as well as web development. So let me show you. So just type bepractical.tech in your browser and you will be redirected to our website. After that, we have awesome contents. Let me show you. So here we are. So as you can see, we have web development section, cyber security section, and we, have, we are also providing services for web developers. And as you can see, we have contents over here, like how to uh, find no rate limit on forgot password pages, what is XSS, SSTI, and so many things. And the interesting part is that we are also providing labs, and which is free of cost. So currently, all these labs are based on account takeovers. So you can go ahead and test out your hacking skills and increase your hacking or bug bounty hunting skills. And all of these labs are absolutely free. And all of these labs are based on real world scenario. So go ahead, go ahead and play with these labs and increase your hacking skills. Now, with that being said, finally, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to type my Kali Linux over here and let's go into the GUI mode. I'm going to type gui.sh which is a simple script that i have written and here we are in the gui mode now over here what we need to do is we need to uh, type a particular thing which is apk leaks so type apk leaks and after that type github right so here we are so the first link is what we need to click and don't worry this link is also given in the description so here we are now there are two ways to install this tool it's quite very easy. So let me show you. The first one is to type pip3 install apk leak, which is quite easy. The second to, the second way is to clone this file and just go to the apk leaks and install the requirements and we are good to go. And we can also pull the image from Docker. Right. So there are three ways. And the most easy way is to just copy this. <coughs> Sorry. And just paste it over here and it should get installed so as you can see in my case it is already installed that's why it is saying that requirement is already satisfied but in your case it is going to take some time depending on the internet connection now once we have this tool installed what we need to do is uh or let me show you another way of how we can install this tool so we can just copy this in most cases when uh, you'll encounter some error like you won't be able to type apk leaks directly from the uh, terminal then you need to install it manually using this this method git clone just paste it okay, okay guys so just need to paste the command you need to wait for it and let's move to the apk leaks over here what we need to do is we need to type pip3 install minus r requirements hit enter and it will install all the uh, needed libraries and now once we have this installed we can simply type python 3 apk leaks dot pi and hit enter as you can see it is showing that uh, the following argument are not specified so here we are we have uh, some important things that we need to follow so we need to specify the file by typing minus f then we can also specify our custom patterns and we can store the output somewhere. We can also provide JSON, right? So for now, I'm going to show you how we can find hidden information like some uh, hidden endpoints, right? Uh, some uh, used tokens, like uh, maybe we can get some tokens of uh, uh, Firebase something, right? So this is why you need to use this tool. And also, you can find some uh, S3 buckets using this particular tool, which is quite interesting. So there's a lot you can do with this tool. So let me show you one a simple user of this. So for example, let's say I want to uh, find some links, some information of a tool uh, of an application, which is Flappy Bird, right? I'm just going to download it real quick. So here we are, the file has been downloaded. Now let us see that how we can use this tool, right? So what we can do is we can just, let me just go to the download folder. And here we are, we need to move com.bird to 
APK leaks. Let's go back. Let's go to APK leaks. And we are good to go. Now, as you can see, we have this file over here. And now let's try to find some information about this file, like some links, like some sensitive tokens, like uh, S3 buckets and so many things. So let's type, just type Python 3 APK leaks.py specify minus F and just type the file name, right? So this is pretty much it. it. This is how you can use this tool. So just hit enter. And now it will just start. So it is showing that can't find JDX by, uh, binary, right? So it is saying that you do you want to install. So obviously hit Y and hit enter. It is going to install it. It depends on the internet connection speed. So let's wait for that. And let's see what this tool can find. So as you can see over here, it is also written that it can find hidden URIs, endpoints and secrets, right? So this is quite interesting tool. Dive deep into the application, then obviously you should check out this tool. Let us wait. So it is decompiling the application. And now finally the scanning that we started. And as you can see, so the only thing that, thing that it was able to find was some links. So here we are, we have some hidden links. And if you're doing some, uh, uh, if you're using this tool on some bug bounty programs or some uh, application that is in bug bounty program, then you will find more and more things. Like, as you can see, we have find some external links over here as well. Uh, some Amazon link and some GitHub, right? So maybe we can use this to find some more information. Maybe there was some uh hidden hidden things like sensitive tokens id password that uh, maybe was leaking on github right so this is how we can use this tool to find hidden information from an android application right so i hope that you have understood that how we can use this tool to find uh hidden secrets urls etc of an android application if you have any doubts if you have any issues then feel free to comment your doubts in the comment section also, do join our Telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends going into cybersecurity as well as web development, right? And also, I'm currently running two courses on uh, Udemy. So if you like the way I teach, then you can just check them out. So the link will be given in the description. Let me show you what these two courses are. So the first one is, right? So the first one is to uh, how to hack or you can type uh, hacking windows with Python where you are going to learn that how hackers actually create their own malware payload listener that can be used to hack a windows machine so you are going to learn everything from the scratch right so how we can execute shell commands how we can upload and download files how we can bypass antivirus how we can bind that file and so many things right and the second course which i'm running is the account takeover course which is also trending on udemy so here it is here it is. This is the course where you are going to learn that how we can find account takeover vulnerability on a web application. So we are going to learn how we can dive deep into the application. What are the different ways to find account takeover? We are going to see some real life scenarios and all of these things that we are going to do is based on real world scenarios. And we are going to do all of these things practically, right? So go ahead and check this course as well if you want to. So. With that being said, again, if you have any doubts, then please, please, please make sure to comment your doubts in the, in the comment section. And with that being said, thanks for watching and keep learning.